You're here because you want to break the shackles of your nine to five and start a business that gives you more time freedom in your life. The proven business model we're covering on this podcast is wholesaling real estate, which is a strategy where you find a rundown house, you pass it to an investor to make $10,000 like our guest Andrew did exactly a year ago. And he's now done about eight deals so far. And he's finding out that wholesaling is a great strategy, but there's something new he learned that he's actually doing even more of called Novations. Um, So he's going to talk about what this real estate tool is and how you can use this in your tool belt as a real estate wholesaler so that you can help more people and make more money. My name is David Lecco. This is the podcast for 10xing your income and replacing your W-2 through wholesaling real estate. I created a process called Deal Machine that's helped people close 10,000 deals on all 50 states in the last seven years. Cool. So, Andrew, do you remember how much you actually made on your very first wholesale deal? Yes. So, first wholesale deal was uh, pretty much how they teach, just a clean 10,000. So, that's pretty Clean 10,000. You just found a rundown house? How'd you find it? It uh, to be honest with you, it actually wasn't too run down. Um, I had pulled properties uh, when I had first started. I was using PropStream, um, pulled the list, and I got in contact with an owner. Um, the guy just wasn't uh, wasn't using his. It was a second home, like a vacation home. wasn't using it as much. It didn't need a ton of work, honestly. Knowing what I know now, probably would have done it differently. Um, but I I had a buyer, good buyers list, and. Uh, didn't take too long at all to get it uh, get it assigned. So I got it. This one I got oh, ninety thousand. How did you have a good buyers list if this was your first wholesale deal? How did you, how'd well, you find that buyer? So I kind of went backwards. I guess it depends who you ask. But I had, I had started by building my buyers list, uh, and again I started off a prop stream. I reached out to all the recent cash buyers on the cash buyers list in the last three to six months and got a good amount um obviously can weed out the people that may not be interested in purchasing but um yeah i had a good solid good good handful there and uh just sent this out to that list and it was gone almost immediately wow it was a real good price like i said i got it at uh at 90 assigned it at 100 and yeah he didn't have to put too much work into it at all sold it at 185 190 i believe so how did you begin building a buyer's list? That's intimidating to tell people that you've got houses for them when you've never even done a deal. So I understood the uh, the proof of concept. So I understood, you know, um, you kind of got to go in there as if you already know what you're doing. And, you know, this is all a learning phase. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But I had initially just built a list. I had blasted that list, let them know that I'm I'm very active in finding these rundown homes or these good investment opportunities for them. And if they'd like, you know, simply to have me reach out to them if I find something and they were more than happy to hear that, you know, it's putting money in their lap. Right. Wow. Okay. So where did you go to meet these people that were going to buy properties from you? It was all virtual. So I never actually met any of them in person. So I believe when I had first started, I was cold calling them all. Um, I'm not sure at what point if I started texting them, but I'm pretty sure that my first list was just done based off of calling them. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of cash buyers anyway, understand the process and, you know, they don't want to go out and source these properties themselves. They may not have the time to do it. So uh, just built that connection right from my room. So it wasn't anything crazy. Wow. Okay. That's pretty crazy. You did that all from your room without meeting him in person. Oh, yeah. And that's how I've done all my deals. I've never actually, not one property that I've done a deal with have I actually physically seen. So the the guy's house, you said it was his second home. Well, how did you find that one? Did you did you like filter property data a certain way and then send mail? Yep. Or what did you do? So what I did is I pulled an absentee owner list. Um, I'm not sure exactly all the other criteria that I had in there, but that was... When I first started, a good list that I was pulling was absentee owners that have owned it maybe five to 10 years or more. And I think I plugged in there that they owned three or more properties. Um, and I found that, you know, if they've owned it for that amount of time and it's their absentee owners, they might be at the point where they fit that tired landlord category. They might have built up that equity by now where it's a good time to cash out on the, on the property. Um, and I've had pretty good luck with that list. So Cool. Okay. So, and then you sent mail, you said? 
No, this one, um, this, I believe that this was text blasted. My first, that's what I did. I just kind of wanted to cut to the chase. I did hire cold callers, um, as well, but I believe that this first deal was a text blast. So sent out the initial text and then any time we got, you know, a, a hand raised, then they would go and then I would call them. They'd go into like a, a pipeline of qualified, if you will. To some extent. So all they had to do was respond to that text. Okay. In a good what way. What were you doing before you did this very first deal? Um, yeah. So I'm actually a, a licensed funeral director. So I did that for <laughs> eight years. I know. Very strange. Not many uh, people say that. But uh, that's what I went to, to college for when I got out of high school. Did that for eight years. I love the job, um, the industry. And it's a pretty privileged, you know, spot to be in helping people in the worst time of their of their lives and be able to kind of walk them through every step of that process but um like i said i love the job but it's a 10 day on four day off schedule so you really don't have anything else that you can do with your life or your or your time um so i kind of wanted to escape that so i had always been looking online you know ways to you know make money and kind of earn it passively so I had initially done Amazon. Amazon was pretty good. Um, but I would say three years ago was when I first kind of dabbled into wholesaling. And I went a few months of really nothing happening. Uh, I put the right you know, structures in place, um, but I wasn't as active as I personally should be. I kind of wanted it to run itself, which you really can't have in the beginning stages anyway. You know, you really got to know every every piece of the puzzle before you start having it run itself. Yeah, absolutely. So you were just dying to have a little bit more freedom. Uh, exactly. Like your job. Exactly. Yeah. One of my LLCs is actually called Money Buys Time because one big thing that I've thought of is people are like, well, money doesn't buy happiness. And I'm like, well, it certainly does buy time. And it's what you do with that time that may or may not create happiness. So that's that sense of security there, you know, you got to have that, uh, good little safety net there and then you can, you know, take that leap. Right. All right. So when was that, by the way, how long ago did you do your first wholesale deal? Uh, so my first wholesale deal was actually at the beginning of last year. So okay. pretty, wow. pretty new. Yeah. Pretty new to it. I've been fine tuning since. How many deals have you done since then? Uh, so last year I did eight deals. Uh, this year I've done three and I've got two good ones in the pipeline. Um, so not ob obviously not a ton, but it, you know, substantial, uh, amount of money, I guess, depending on who you're telling, uh, or who's looking at it. But I just, I know the sky's the limit. You know, I've, I'm aiming to do anywhere from seven to 15 a month. That's my goal here. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Hey guys, if you know you want to quit your job in the next three months, Make sure you're subscribed to this podcast because we've got some incredible frameworks with step-by-step -step instruction that you're not going to want to miss. Also, leave us a rating and review to let us know your favorite parts and why you want to get financial freedom. What are some of the biggest surprises before you were doing deals to after having done a few? What's your biggest surprise you know, that you thought about during this process? Um, biggest surprise in, in what sense? Like... I'll give you an example. So um, when I was first starting out, I was really nervous that if I offered somebody and they signed a contract with me, if it ended up being a price that was too high, they'd get livid if I needed to back out of that contract. Um, but what actually happened was I explained that the smoke damage was going to cost $12,000 more. And I could present him a new contract. And I said, I want to do this deal. I just can't do it for the original price. Um, but I could do it for this new price and explain why. And he didn't want to, but he was not combative at all. He understood and he signed the new price. So it was very easy. And uh, the biggest surprise for me was when you have a truly motivated seller, there's no pulling teeth. There's no persuasion. There's no crazy, you know, drama. It's just easy because they really need help. Right. I would say, I mean, I, I can't think of any, like, I, that. I would say that's a, a positive surprise. I mean, I've had some 
hurdles that I've, I've uh, come up against and, you know, I guess some issues. Um, I don't know if that's what you're asking in terms of that, but um, I, I definitely, you know, to second what you said, if you're truly doing the right thing and you're in this for the right reason and you're actually here to solve people's problems, um, then you can be surprised with, um, you know, what you're able to get done with these folks. And, and if you're truly presenting a solution to their problem and not out there for the wrong reason, you can get right. a lot done here. And, and I think that's the way that you should be looking at these these deals. You told me for every wholesale deal that you do, you're doing three novation deals. So what is a novation and how is it different from wholesaling? Yes. So a novation is more of a blanket term, um, but essentially it's, ex, you know, exchanging one contract for another. And to be honest with you, in terms of speaking novations, I don't believe I'm the best person to be speaking on behalf of them. Uh, Richard Wonder is also known as Novation King on Instagram. He is, you know, or he's kind of the, the godfather here with novations who I've learned from. And um, he can really explain it, you know, a lot better than I. But essentially and theoretically, for every one wholesale deal you have, you should have three, maybe even four novation deals. And and I'll explain why um, and why I believe that they're better than than um, than wholesaling. Uh, so let's just say you have a property that doesn't need too, too much work. And I'm sure a lot of folks have these in their pipeline where the seller is asking for a price that just doesn't fit a wholesale criteria, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a good deal there. The house doesn't need too, too much work, but it just really doesn't fit the wholesale numbers. I guess I'll kind of, uh, explain it loosely. Um, but essentially what's happening at these, at these points is you can get these properties under contract where you agree to a net price with the seller and you go in and you would hire a realtor on their behalf. And you would list the property on the market and you would pay the closing costs. You'd pay, you'd pay the realtor fees and then you would pay the seller that net profit and you would essentially keep what's left behind. Uh, but you have to be providing value there, whether it be, you know, a lot of these folks don't want to deal with, you know, showings, walkthroughs, uh, inspections or any of that. They don't want to, you know, have that hassle. So that's where you can present novation. So for example... I've got a deal right now where a property is worth as is in its current condition, um, 500,000, you know, uh, the, the, the family is in New York, the, the property is in Orlando, um, sellers wanted this done quickly, um, but they didn't want to, um, to, to deal with the, you know, showings or put it on the market or deal with a realtor or anything. Say, listen, why don't we take care of that for you? And anything that needs to be done with the property, you know, whether it be repairs, uh, concessions, things of that nature, we'll take care of for you. So we agreed to a price. Um, and if I were to give them a wholesale offer, it's going to be somewhere in the 350, maybe 360 range. And I might pass that off to a buyer for 370 or 380 and it make 10 to 20,000. Well, in this case, I get them under contract for 400,000 and net price. And instead of a 30-day closing, we stretch it out to a 60-day closing. And I go in there, I pay to get the lights turned on, get the electricity uh, with the water on. Um, I do a deep cleaning of the home. Uh, and then I have a realtor, which is a big part of this. You have to have realtors on your side that are willing to do these. And why wouldn't they? Uh, had a realtor go in there, list the property for 500000 And when all, all is said and done, I should make about 50000 on the property. So it's a win, win, win. Realtors getting paid, I'm getting paid, and the sellers getting paid a lot more than they would on a than a you know pennies to the dollar wholesale offer. Wow, cool. And so the reason why you should have three to one is because you come a lot, uh, across a lot of deals that don't have the equity uh, to do a wholesale deal. Is that right? Well, it's that, and you're also instead of presenting the mark uh, the offer to. Uh, or your contract to just your cash buyers, you're now able to present it on the MLS. So you're reaching, you're casting a much wider net. So you're able to get a lot more for the property. So you just have to be able to see what the property can sell for in its as is condition. Um, but it should, it should, you know, leave a, a much larger spread than a wholesale deal, which means you've got to offer more to the sellers. Gotcha. And the reason why they do innovation instead of just listing it with an agent is for what reason? 
Yeah. So uh, again, a lot of these folks don't want to deal with a realtor themselves. They don't want to deal with showings or walkthroughs. So we handle all that for them. A lot of the times, um, at least in my experience, it, it works best with absentee owners if they're not there, if they're out of state. Um, but I've got one going right now in Philadelphia where, you know, the lady lives right at our house. Um, but it's against, it's, it's a bigger task that they don't want to handle themselves. So you just take that over for them. But, um, Richard wonders, he does a great job. He's novation King on Instagram. Uh, if you looked him up, he, uh, he's doing a lot with the communities. He's, he's, he's making ripples here and, uh, definitely someone you want to check out. Right. He's got a course on there as well. So, all right, everybody. Check That's who I've learned. The from. Novation King on Instagram. Um, and Andrew, maybe, maybe to wrap up, you could tell us, um, what are you looking forward to most once you're doing about 17, did you say 17 a month? I'm looking year? to do se- seven to 15 per month, seven to okay, 15. Seven so 15 per month. yeah. So what are you looking forward to once you hit that milestone? Uh, well, I feel like I, you know, as humans, we're never satisfied, right? You know, it's obviously going to be scaling to that next level. Um, but ultimately just the freedom, you know, I, I feel like I've already got that at this point right now. I know what needs to be done and what it, uh, what it takes to get to that point. But ultimately just the, uh, the notch, just knowing that we got there. Um, you know, I definitely think that it's, it's more than achievable. You just got to surround yourself with the right people. We've got a lot of people in our community that are doing that, uh, it, if not more. Right. I think Novation, uh, Richard Wonders, he's doing like 50 to 75 per month. That's great. So it's nuts. You got to look at the Novations. And your LLC is called Money Buys Time. What do you want to do with your time when you have more of it? I'd say probably do a little bit more traveling. Uh, my my brother, I'm fortunate enough, he's a pilot for Delta, so I get you know free standby flights. So I've been traveling a lot as it is. Um, Where's your favorite place that you've been to so far? I would say St. Lucia. I like I love St. Lucia. St. Lucia's real nice. Um, going on a cruise here next month, but uh, St. Lucia is definitely the spot. If you haven't been there, you got to go. Okay, I'll- it's out there. Oh yeah. Um, but I, I got to thank you as well. Deal machine has been unbelievable. Um, I, it actually, it's, it almost seems like it's too good to be true. When I first signed up for it, knowing that you can get skip tracing for every single lead that you pull on there, just about every single lead, uh, is unbelievable. Like it's that alone pays for itself in the software. Uh, it's, you know, has replaced a lot of my other tools. Um, and it's a good go-to for comping. It's got AI in there. It's just unbelievable. So I thank you for uh, for having that for the community. It's massive. You're absolutely welcome, man. I'm super glad you're getting a lot of value from the skip tracing. I know that's a huge reason why a lot of people are signing up for Deal Machine today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Well, I hope you have a really good weekend. And uh, I'm ready for you to get to 15 per month. And glad we get to be a small part of your journey. So thanks for letting us serve you. And I look forward to years to come. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to the Deal Machine Real Estate Investing Podcast. Please leave us a review and follow along wherever you're listening to your podcast.